Welcome to the online home of the Florida Joint Center for Citizenship. We're so glad you found us. You might be wondering who and what we are. So let's take a minute to give you a general overview of the FJCC. In 2010, the Florida Legislature passed the Justice Sandra Day O'Connor Civics Education Act, mandating civics instruction within Florida's public education system, as well as creating a required middle grade civics course and an associated high stakes assessment. The FJCC is a joint venture between the Lou Fry Institute at UCF and the Bob Graham Center at UF. Initially, the FJCC supported the implementation of the middle school civics benchmarks and the requirements of the Sandra Day O'Connor Act. However, now we're also exploring the idea of adding resources for U.S. history in high school. So what can the FJCC do for you? Well, the answer is obvious. We can provide you with ample resources for civics education. This video will provide you an overview of the registration process, site navigation, and resources available. So let's get started. First, click on Login in the upper right corner. You should see a screen that looks like this. Next, click the blue Sign Up link. You will see a request to complete a profile. All of the information you provide is kept confidential. If you're a teacher, please provide your district and school. The FLDOE certificate number is optional. Once your registration is complete, you can begin exploring the resources that we have. To find them, click on the resources link at the top of the screen. You should see a large variety of K-12 resources, but we'll start with the 7th grade Applied Civics resources. Once you click on that link, you'll see resources categorized by benchmark. You can select any of the listed benchmarks to find resources, but for now we'll explore SS7C11. We will discuss some key features here, but encourage you to explore further on your own. The first thing you'll see is a lesson plan in both PDF and Word format. Each lesson plan within our middle grades collection uses a variety of pedagogical strategies to have students complete activities with clear directions and, if necessary, answer keys will be provided. You will also notice the Civics on Demand video. This video is meant for teachers and provides you with a stronger content foundation as you instruct your students. Below each video is a copy of the PowerPoint used during the presentation, which you are free to download and adapt for your own instruction. To find more useful resources, please scroll down further. Perhaps the most popular of the resources we offer is the Civics Assessment Items. These provide you with sample items aligned to the benchmarks and have been created with the EOC style and approach in mind. You will also find an overview of the specifications as a whole, and finally, additional resources for each benchmark. These are generally content oriented but may not be aligned with the entire specification. Beyond the benchmark specific resources, the FJCC also has many resources useful for your instruction. The first we'll take a look at is SIPS, standing for Students Investigating Primary Sources. To explore SIPS, click on Resources, then under the High School Resources section, click on SIPS. You'll be taken to a joint collaboration between the FJCC and National Archives, as well as the Florida Association of Social Studies Supervisors. The mini lessons provided allow students to explore a significant civic or historical event using primary sources. This collection of activities is intended to introduce students to topics relevant to them and to social studies. In addition to the middle and high school resources, we have tools for elementary grades. To explore an elementary resource, click on Resources. Then, under the Elementary School Resources section, click on K-5 Civics in a Snap Lessons. All of the lessons provide you with 15 to 20 minute mini lessons with the goal of supporting quality civics instruction in the short period of time that's provided for teachers at the elementary level. Each lesson is connected to specific K-5 civics benchmarks and involves students answering specific questions related to civics. For example, SSKC 1.1 is a mini lesson on the importance of rules. As with our other materials, answer keys are provided when necessary. The final resource we want to share with you is also an elementary resource, but this can be most useful as a collaborative resource between civics and ELA teachers or reading coaches. To get to this collaborative resource, go back up to the resources link and then click on Civics Correlation Guide to Current K-5 Reading Series. Once you click on that link, 
You will see ways to help you find relevant civics readings in the most commonly used elementary school texts in Florida. You can search by benchmark, by publisher, or by both. Simply select your search approach to find readings suitable for your classroom. These readings may function as introductions or detailed instructions, or they may simply mention the relevant benchmark content in passing. Either way, it's a useful method to help you find reading resources that encourage civic knowledge. Now, we certainly have many more resources available we could talk about, but we want to give you a chance to explore these in your own time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the FJCC resources. Please let us know how we can help you and your students become engaged citizens. For questions or comments, please contact the director of the Florida Joint Center for Citizenship, Dr. Steve Masiata, at the email listed above. Thank you for watching.